Kia ora everyone, Craig Lord here and I'm in Papakuta at Crosskerry Creek where there is a culvert, a Crosskerry Road culvert. And the reason I've arrived here this morning is because yesterday I was made aware of a Facebook post by a guy called Ben who'd put it up online and it was about the pollution from a wrecker's yard going into the stream, into this culvert. Now, when I was made aware of it, I started getting tagged all over the place by people who were saying, I need to be aware of what's going on. So I rang Ben and spoke with him yesterday about what was happening. He sent me some more videos showing me the state of the stream. And I decided to drive all the way over to Papakuta to have a look for myself. I've arrived here and what has happened is social media has done its job because one news are here, Herald Focus is here, and the council have been out here in force. So this is actually good news. The bad news is how this has happened. One, we've got a rogue business that the council knew about and they haven't done anything about. The other part is that we've got a machine known as Auckland City Council that is clearly broken. Now, I'll just turn the camera for you here, if I can remember how to do that. We go here. Okay, so One News are packing up and doing their thing. Herald Focus are over there doing their thing. And down here, I'm sorry, you just won't be able to see it, but here's a stream, a culvert. Now, the chances of you seeing it is pretty slim, but it is full of oil and diesel spills. And it comes from a wrecker's yard in that direction over there. Now, the council have already worked that out. And it's running down the stream and going. Now, here's the even worse news from this morning. Around the corner, just around the corner there, when I arrived about five, ten minutes ago, and they might even still be doing it if I go for a little wander, the council were cleaning up the drains. Now, why were they cleaning up the drains? Because someone overnight knew what was going on. They've turned up here to Papakuta and they brought a drum of oil and poured it down the drain to make it look as though that's where the spill had come from. So they're in there at the moment and they are, obviously the news are all over this, they want to know what's going on. So what they did was they spilt oil down this drain. Now that is a clear cover up. So I'll take you for a wander down here and you can have a look. And the council have been in cleaning it up. So they put the booms down and the kitty litter and all that kind of stuff to try and clean up the mess. Now that drain there goes directly into the culvert that way. So that's what they did. Last night they poured it in to make a mess. So now there's more to clean up. But if I take you back, if I take you back around the corner to where the culvert is, um, all it did obviously was make a huge mess inside the culvert. Uh, let me go back to me here for a second. So my main point about this is, yeah, we've got, well, actually there's a, quite a handful of points, isn't there? Look, we've got a rogue business that the council knew about months ago. We've got pollution in the stream that the council knew about months ago, and they actually came down to try and fix it by throwing in some of those boom socks that pick up and soak up all the rubbish out of the water. They got washed away within a week and were left. They didn't come back and fix it, even though they were told about it. Sorry, I'll get into the sun here. So we've got some major problems with the machine. The machine being Auckland City Council. Auckland City Council is not doing their job. Now, let's bear in mind here, the mayor cannot turn up to every tiny little problem, big or small, in Auckland City and fix it. That can't happen, okay? Auckland City has to run itself. It has to look after itself. It has to fix itself. So somewhere there is a division inside Auckland City Council not doing their job. That then becomes, to me, the job of the mayor. If the mayor finds out about things like this, they should be getting onto the councillors and they should be going down to that division inside Auckland City Council and finding out exactly what has gone wrong, who was in charge and who isn't doing their job. They are being paid by you and me to do their job. Their job is to look after the core functions of this city. Refuse, streets, footpaths, transport, and cleaning up the mess from rogue businesses and then making them pay for it big time. So how would I fix it if I was mayor right now? What I would do is I would be going 
into the office. As I've just said, finding out who is in charge of pollution, why they haven't come back. There will be records in the computers of every single phone conversation that's been had between the neighbour that lives there and the council. He has given up. He actually told me he's given up ringing the council because they're not taking any action and he can't be bothered anymore, so he's not going to do it. So then he had to do that post on Facebook, give us awareness. I got tagged in it. Daniel Newman, the local council, I think he's in this region. He must be. He got aware of it. One News uh, Herald and probably News Hub will be aware of it by now, and they'll turn up eventually and do a story. <sighs> Look, it's, it's damn frustrating. The machine is clearly broken. We've got a million and five things wrong with the city right now that we've got to fix. But when you've got a problem like this that gets ignored and it's a major pollution problem, heads should roll. So, I've had my rant. Look, I've had my live rant. Um, unfortunately, the, I'm only, I didn't bring out the broadcast camera. I only brought out the cell phone. So I'm not going to be able to capture the perfect pictures. But let me take you for a little walk across the road here. If I go across the road for you, I can show you where the stream comes from. And then you guys can make up your own mind. Okay, so it's up there. And up that direction is the business that, according to the council, is in fact leaching the product into that stream. So how can it not be fixed by now? So I uh, don't know if you can quite, I'll try my best here to show you, but over there is an outlet that's coming from the street over there where they poured the oil overnight. That's what's leaking into the stream now, and that was the pure cover-up. Straight down here, and I know the cell phone won't pick it up, is, is, it's all diesel and oil. You, I can see it, but you won't on this camera. But the sheer cheek of people knowing they are going to get caught, oh, and by the way, the lads apparently went up towards where the business is that is leaching the product into the stream, and they were trying to block all the exits from their property into the pipes and drains. They were trying to stop it, and then it's pretty obvious, one and one does equal two in this world, that they were the ones that probably came along, dumped the oil on the side of the road to make it look as though that's where the spillage was coming from. Absolutely disgraceful. So, sorry, I'm just gonna turn the camera around again. Um, that'll probably do it from this report. It's good that the news has picked up on it. It's good that there's been some outrage on social media about it. I'm glad I was tagged in it because it's now told me another part, another segment of Auckland City Council machine that is not working properly and it needs fixing. People are being paid and they're not doing their job. We are paying them. You are paying them. If this was a normal everyday business and they were just sitting back in their office looking at their computer screen and at the end of the week you got a complaint from one of your customers saying why isn't that job done as the boss you'd be going down there to find out why the staff haven't done their job that has to happen here we need to find out who the heads of department are we need to find out how far down it goes because there's people sitting around being paid not doing their job okay I won't bother writing a report on this for later. I've said enough. My point is made. We need to fix a lot of things. This being one of them. Talk to you again later.